Good morning. Here uh, the topic is flow of viscous fluid through sharpener pipe. Okay. Chapter is the viscous flow and the subject you know the subject is uh, fluid mechanics. Okay. So here in this case uh, the velocities of fluid are taken to be very low. Okay. In case of low velocities uh, the treatment of laminar flow can be used. Okay, here one layer of fluid slides over the another layer, and in that case only the Newton's law of viscosity can be used. You know this thing. And in case of high velocities, the flow becomes turbulent, and in that case, only Newton's law of viscosity is not sufficient. Okay, so here in this case, uh, we are talking about circular pipe. So first of all, let us draw one circular pipe. So this is the circular pipe. Okay. And say uh, this is the center line of the pipe. Okay. This is the center line of the pipe. And uh, this is the direction of flow. This is the direction of flow, this is the x direction. So, fluid flow is taking place from left to right. Okay. And now, let us take one cylindrical fluid element and in this view, you can see one rectangle only. So, this is what? This is one cylindrical fluid element. Okay. Of radius r. That means, this is r. Can you see? Uh, Yes, that is visible. So, this is a cylindrical fluid element of radius r and this is uh, moving inside another cylindrical fluid element of radius r plus dr. So, here if you draw one view, so you can see there will be two circles. Okay. And this thickness, thickness will be what? dr. This thickness. And here this radius is what? R. R is radius, means this radius is R. And there is another cylindrical fluid uh, of radius R plus dr. That means this uh, space between the annular space, uh, it is uh, dr. Okay. Uh, means thickness of the annular space, that is dr. Okay. So, uh, now, uh, you consider the forces acting on this fluid element when the fluid element is moving from left to right. Okay. So, and suppose, uh, also suppose that uh, this length of the fluid element, it is delta x. Okay. And now, uh, consider force, uh, say this is denoted by A, B, C, D. So, on the face A, B, there is a uh, pressure acting on the fluid element and say that pressure is denoted by P. Okay. So, what will be the pressure on the face CD? It is just opposite to AB. So, what will be the pressure? Since this distance is delta X, therefore, here the pressure will be what? Uh, let me use another color so that it is clearly visible. P plus uh, del P del x into delta x. So, this much is the pressure on the opposite face CD. Okay. Is there any other force? Yes, of course, there is any other force. Means there is one force, uh, one more force is there. That force is the CR force due to the presence of viscosity. Okay. In case of uh, in case of inviscid flow, there will be no effect of viscous force. But we are talking about viscous flow, so there will be force due to viscosity. Okay, means viscous force will be there, and you know that viscous force uh, always acts in the opposite direction of the motion, opposite direction of the fluid motion. So, uh, this is the opposite direction, this is the opposite direction, so in this opposite direction, uh, Viscous flow will be acting. Okay. Say tau is the shear stress. Okay. Say tau is the shear stress. So 
this is tau, this is the shear stress. So what will be the viscous force? So this shear stress multiplied by the multiplied by the lateral area of this cylindrical fluid element. What is the lateral area? That is equal to the periphery is 2 pi r multiplied by this uh, distance delta x. So that will be equal to this is uh, multiplication sign tau into 2 pi r delta x. Okay. So this much is the shear stress, uh, shear force, not shear stress, shear stress is tau. This much is the shear force or the viscous force acting in the opposite direction, means from uh, right to left. And we are talking about what? We are talking about uh, a flow of constant velocity, means there is no acceleration. Therefore, resultant force acting on the fluid element must be equal to zero. Okay. So, so what? So here, uh, forces are what? P into this area. This area is how much? Area of phase AB that is equal to pi r square. So, P into pi r square. Okay, let me use black color. Black color is clearly visible. Minus this force, P plus this one, okay? Del P del X. Uh, into delta x multiplied by the same area okay pi r square right and this force so this is also negative so minus tau into 2 pi r into delta x and this is equal to 0 okay uh, one more thing uh, I want to add to this uh, that we are talking about uh, laminar flow so uh, in case of uh, flow through circular pipes, one uh, number is defined that is called Reynolds number denoted by R suffix E, R E, okay, that is equal to uh, define this way rho Vd by mu. Here rho is the density of the fluid, V is the average velocity and V is the diameter of the pipe, means inner diameter, okay, and mu is the viscosity or the coefficient of dynamic viscosity. So in case of flow through circular pipe, if this value is less than or equal to, okay, if this value is less than or equal to 2000, then the flow is laminar, okay, then the flow is laminar. So here the value of rho Vd by mu, this quantity that is Reynolds number for this flow, okay, is always less than or equal to 2000. In that case only, this analysis can be applied or this analysis is valid, okay. So, we have got this one, okay? Now, now what? This P by R square and this P by R square are cancelled. Therefore, in the next line, what we are getting? Minus uh, del P del X, this del P del X, okay? Then, this pi R square into delta X is there. Then, here, 2 pi R tau into delta X is there. Okay, what is common here? Pi is common, delta x is common. Okay, and r. So if you divide both sides of this by pi delta x r, what you will get? Minus del p del x. Okay, pi delta x r. So one r you will get here. Pi delta x r. So here you will get 2 tau. 2 tau is equal to 0. Okay. So this thing we have got here. So from here, what we are getting? We are getting tau is equal to uh, half of del P del X R. Half of del P del X into R, of course, with a negative sign. Okay. So this thing we have got here, right? Tau is equal to minus half del P del X into R. So tau is what? This is shear stress. So if you want to add uh, for a given cross section, del P del X remains constant. And <coughs> we know that in the direction of fluid flow, del P del X is always a negative quantity. Therefore, tau is ultimately a positive quantity. So tau is equal to what? Tau is equal to a constant into R. That is tau can be written as for a given cross section. Say we are talking about 
this cross section. Okay. If we talking about, if you are talking about this cross section, in that case, tau is equal to a constant into r. So tau can be written as say m is a constant. M is not mass here. M is a constant. M is equal to what? M is equal to minus half into del p del x into r. Uh, sorry, not r minus half in, uh, into del p del x. So tau is equal to m r. That means this equation looks like y is equal to m x. Okay, y is equal to m x. So if you want to draw uh, the shear stress distribution for a given cross section, what will be that? Say I am here again drawing one uh, circular pipe, and this is the center line. Okay, and this is the cross section. So you will get almost like this. You will get two straight lines. Okay, and uh, you can use these arrows to show the shear stress. Okay. Okay. This is the center line. Okay. And this is what? The direction of R. And this is the direction of X. So, equation is tau is equal to MR. So, what is the value of tau here? Tau means here this direction. Okay. Tau is this direction. This is the direction of tau. Okay. And this is the direction of R. This is the direction of R. So, if this be the equation, tau is equal to a constant into R, then you know that this will be straight lines. So, this is what? This is shear stress distribution. Okay. For a given cross section. Now, uh, this same thing can be used to get the velocity, uh, velocity distribution. Okay. Velocity distribution. So, to calculate that thing, velocity distribution, what we need to do, you just use this one. Okay. From Newton's law of viscosity, we know that tau is equal to what? That is equal to mu into du dy. Right. And y is measured from the wall. Means this is the wall. So, in this direction, y will be measured. In this direction, y will be measured. So, here say radius of the pipe. Radius of the pipe is capital R. So, what is y for this case? Of course, here y will be equal to capital R minus a small r. Small r is this much. Okay. Say then what is dy? So, just you define both sides of this. So, you will get dy is equal to minus dr. Therefore, tau is equal to what? Tau is equal to minus mu du dr. Okay. So, here in this expression, you can replace tau by minus mu du dr and then proceed to get the velocity distribution. Okay. Uh, size of the board is small. So, I have to, I need to erase some part. Okay. So, I am erasing this part. This is not required. Okay. And, uh, and now I need a dry cloth for the duster, otherwise uh, the board has become wet. So now, okay, tau is this much. Here you can see tau is equal to this much. So uh, we are writing what? Therefore, minus mu. Du, d, du dr is equal to this much minus half del p del x into r. Okay, so from here we are getting du dr is equal to what? <laughs> we are getting 1 by 2 mu del p del x into r. So, on integration, on integration, what we are getting means what is integration? U is equal to integration of this 1 by 2 mu del p del x, this r dr. Okay, you can write this way 
Here you know that mu is constant, del p del x is constant for a given, given cross section. Only one variable is there and that is r. So what will be integration r square by 2? So what we are getting here? We are getting 1 by 4 mu. 1 by 4 mu del p del x into r square plus a constant of integration c. Okay. Plus a constant of integration c. This constant of integration c can be evaluated by using boundary condition. We know that at the surface of the pipe, inner surface of the pipe, okay, inner surface of the pipe, velocity of the fluid is zero due to no slip boundary condition, no slip condition, okay. So, at the surface of the pipe, what is the value of R? That is equal to capital R. Value of small r is equal to capital R. So, the condition is what? When small r is equal to capital R, u is equal to zero. If you put this condition here in this equation, equation is what? Equation is this one. Uh, this one. U is equal to this. So you put it here zero, u is zero, and small r is equal to capital R. So obviously you will get c is equal to minus one by four mu, and here del p del x and capital R square. So this is the value of C. Okay. Now you just replace this value of C here. Here means where? Here. Okay. If you replace that value of C there, then you will get what? You will get U is equal to this 1 by 4 mu. 1 by 4 mu dp del x into small r square minus 1 by 4 mu into del p del x into capital R square. Okay, so this can be written as minus 1 by 4 mu del p del x into capital R square minus small r square. You know that this quantity is positive because capital R is less, uh, capital R is more than small r and you know that del p del x is always negative therefore total quantity becomes positive. Okay, because one negative sign is there. And del del x is negative, so this makes positive. Okay, so this this is the u. And here in the expression for u, this is u. This is u. In this expression for u, mu is constant, del del x is constant, this capital R is constant. So obviously this becomes an equation of this becomes an equation of a parabola. Okay, and if you want to uh, draw the Velocity distribution, then again I need to draw the pipe first. Uh, this is the pipe, okay. This is the center line, this is one cross section, and you will get this is the parabola. And uh, let me again use another color, okay, to show the velocities. This is the, and at the center, the velocity is maximum okay you can see at the center is velocity is maximum so this is the velocity distribution so in this direction velocity is there that is what i have used here u u is the velocity this is the direction of velocity you can see at the center the velocity is maximum and this is the direction of this is the direction of r okay so using this equation you can plot this graph or you can uh, show the velocity distribution and what is the maximum uh, what is the maximum velocity you know that maximum velocity will be when small r is equal to zero that means at the center so value of the maximum velocity we can write u max this is equal to how much minus 1 by 4 mu del p del x into capital r square okay this is the value of the maximum velocity okay so uh, this is the end of this topic uh, in the next video we will see uh, the ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity okay i'll show you the calculation of average velocity how average velocity is calculated and uh, okay uh, this video has already become longer okay okay uh, thank you for watching this video Thank you.